Hello and welcome to iExplores. I'm your host Ian. If you like my videos, please like and subscribe. Okay, so today I'm going to start off looking at various schools around Grimsby and Cleeforts, probably ones that some of you went to. So uh, let's go and have a look. So I've come to our first school to look at. I'm actually on Strand Street, and there's Strand Street School. This has been here quite a long time, and up there. It's got a, a playground on the roof. I've actually seen it when the, the flats were there a long time ago. So anyway, let's move on to the next school. Now come down to Ennage Road and to our next school, which is that one. It says up there, the Great Grimsby Public Elementary School Board. On a date on that, I've got 1877. This place has been here a long time, obviously. And across the way there, at Soho Mill, there's also a school through there as well. Behind them trees, a Catholic school. So let's just have a quick look around this. There is a stone down here saying when it was laid. There we go, 18th of May, 18, 1876. Let's get a bit closer in there. So you can read that. Okay, tells you who built, who built it. I mean, sorry, that's the architect, sorry, and who built it on that side, I'll get that right. So if you want to pause that and have a look during the video, please let me see else. Okay, let's move on to the next school. So I've now come down Eleanor Street, and this is the Eleanor Street School just there. And next to it was the Education Offices. So it was the Eleanor Street Education Office and Municipal College. And in there, somewhere, there was a swimming pool. I've done many videos on this one. And again, this was built in the early 19th century, 18 something. I have done it on a video, and here's a, as you can see, a stone where with a date's on it, but you can hardly see it. So, okay, so let's move on to the next school. Okay, so I've now come down to Six Hill Street, and this school here is called Edward Ennage Primary. As you can see up there, it says Boys Entrance. Now, I have been round the other side of this, and I can't find the girls' entrance, so I'm assuming maybe like the one down Wheelsby Street, which I shall be doing shortly, is two schools maybe, but yeah. That's where the boys went through, just there, where you can see where it's bricked in. So, okay, let's move along to the next school. So now I'm at another school. I'm currently stood on Well Home Road East, and this one is Well Home Academy. This also is a very early school, been here a long time. Obviously, again, Victorian, in the way it is. Look at these pillars on there. Probably been replaced in the time, but this is a big old school. There's quite a lot of these around Grimsby actually that are, are still standing. I mean, amazingly enough that they're still here. There's a, a stone through there, but it's hard to read. I can't put the camera through, but as you can see there, I think it says, I can't really read that to be honest. It's a bit, it's a bit hard to read, but yeah. See, they have been replaced, there's an original sandstone on top of the pillar there. I mean, obviously this probably had a girls and a, and a boys entrance anyway. So yeah, that's this one. So let's move on to the next. It's Wheelsby Street School. It goes all the way around, as you can see. It's slowly round here. Yeah, that's Wheelsby Street on it there. I'll go down the side here. Now the other one, I'm just gonna uh, pull it in a minute. There we go. Now the other one used to be across the road, round about in that way area where the houses are there, so there was two. So in usually some cases you had a boys school and a girls school. Now this is quite big this one. So let's move on to the next school. Oh, I'm down Barcross Street. And this is Barcross Street School. This is an old one, very old one. Let's go up here and have a look at this. This has been here a while. Obviously, most of these are Victorian anyway. Look at the front of that, it says infants up there. That's brilliant, so it was an infant school back then. If you can read at the top there, I hope. But this is very old, there's some more carvings up the top there. It says Cleefort School Board on it, and the one next to it. I think it says the same as, this is excellent. So let's move up and have a look at it a bit more. So that's an infant on it, now this has actually got come past the pillar a girl's entrance on there maybe the other side or maybe this side even I'm coming to the end of this now is the probably the boys entrance so you can see them on the end of it there's some more 
writing and things like that up there, look. So let's go around the other side and have a look. See, it says boys entrance over there and the date is up there, 1896. So let's move on. A bit further down and this in there, that must have been the playground down there, as you can see, hopefully. And that's where I've just been down there. So I'm now sitting on Ellison Street. Okay, and behind me, as you can see there, there's another school. Now this has got two boys entrances, one there and one further up, which I'll show you shortly. If you can see, there's another big old Victorian school still standing, so let's move along a bit. Okay, so as you can see, there's the other boys entrance there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a trip round the other side of the street and see if this actually stretches like the one does on Barcroft Street, so let's go. So I was right, I'm now down Bramall Street and this is the other side of the school. And as you can see, if I put the camera through there, up there, so he's infants. So obviously the boys entrance must be down there where the camera's pointing now, well that definitely says infants, so let's go and have a look further up. Okay, so I've come further along, as you can see it says infants up there. So I'm guessing this just been a... I don't know, the boy, uh, just an infant's in a boys, boys school. Okay, so we're now on Reynolds Street and this is Reynolds Street School, which you're going to have a look down now. There we go. I've started at this point because I think there's a, a day school going on in there, but yeah, here we go. And there's some writing on here, which we always like to see. Here it is. Reynolds Street School in Lindsay County Council. Oh, it's an extension, 1927. It's supposed to be extended. Ah, I see, so let's carry on a bit further. Sorry about the posts that are in the way, dams. Fantastic, let's carry on to the next one. Oh, hang on one second. The original post, see you look, on top of there. So that must have been the original way in. Like it said on there, 1927, it was extended, so let's carry on the other side and up there that's 1913 okay so i've moved the camera that way a bit so you can see the boys entrance there now i'm going to go around the other side and fill the girls entrance now right, let's go and have a look I'm that out through there but it says girls on it i've zoomed in as close as i can there's obviously fences and gates in between it's where you can just read it yeah so there you go that's the girls entrance so that must be the old part of the school and this what I filmed before is the new part built in 1927. That side, 1913, so let's carry on. Buzzard Street, I think that's how you say it. But anyway, there's a Buzzard Street school there. Now this has got a cracking story attached to it because on June the 29th, 1903, a group of uh, about 70 pupils on this very street, this very school, could see the smoke pouring out of the pier. Yes, as, as the fire unfolded. So obviously, down there now i don't know you can't really see so they actually saw the uh the start of the pier burning so let's move a bit further down okay so i'll move further down now as you can see look where they took the railings down to uh, use the uh, metal to make or iron to make the planes during the war so yeah, as you can see another quite a big score i know it's moved now and i'll show you where it's moved to it's obviously not down here they still kept the same name now which is really good. It goes it stretches around this corner here and all the way down there, which we're going to go. As you can see, there's a thing on there, Cleefort's school board. It says it's laid in, I think that says, I'm not sure if that's 18 or a 9, I'm not certain. I'm not really, I don't know, I can't really make it out, it's too much gone, but yeah. This has obviously uh, been left now, and like I say, it has moved to another location. Well, the name has, not the school, obviously, but the, uh, they've taken the name of it, which I'm going to show you shortly. We're just going to walk down here and go all the way around it. Big school. I don't know what they're going to turn it into. You never know these days. But this is a big one. The artwork up there as well. I'm not seeing any of the entrances, so they must have been in that playground back there somewhere. As you can see, all the way around. Okay, so let's carry on to the next school. 
OK, so I'm out on Clee Road and now we're coming up to Lindsay. Lindsay School, this used to be a big school. It's now a nursing and a care home. So let's go take a look at that. There, there it is. Massive school that was. Obviously now it's a care home. So let's go and have a look further around the front. Come around the front now, as you can see, it's through there. But these edges are quite high, so I've got the camera on the stick. Probably all you're going to see now is blooming trees. But yeah, it is through there, so let's move down a bit further. It's a bit further down now, I'm going to turn the camera into here. And there it is. Try on. There it is up there. That's the old Lindsay School. OK, let's move on. Okay, so I'm still on Clear Road. Now, I've arrived at, like I was saying, this is the new uh, Buzzer Street Primary Academy, so it says up there. Now, previous to this, it was a grammar school and then it was called Matthew Umberston and now it's obviously what it is there. Now there's a date above a door up here that I'm going to show you in a minute. Well, I'm just going to turn the camera around there. Now, I've just been uh, talking to a gentleman who told me a bit about this and it is hard to research. I must say it was hard to me to find out things. But anyway, let's move a bit further on. OK, so I've moved up to the original entrance now. Now there is a date above this door, which I'm going to put the camera through here. It is up there and it says 1881. So this must have been the earliest part of the school. I mean, look at the door there, really nice. And I can't see that's original. But look how low the windows are either side of that. Look, look how low they are. Def this is definitely the old part of it. OK, so let's go to the next school. We'll come down to another school now. And this is Old Clay Primary, or Academy. But OK, that's Old Clay Primary, and on to the next. Um, a college. So this is another local school, if any of you went to this one. Just off Chelmsford there, Chelmsford Avenue. I think the old part's where the camera's pointing through there now. I notice the sports hall on my way up. Well, this is obviously brand new, and you can see they're still doing construction over there. So OK, on to the next. Stud on Carnforth Crescent. I've turned the camera around. That used to be called Carnforth Special School for people with learning difficulties, called the Cambridge Park Academy. So let's move on to the next school. OK, so I'm now on Cambridge Road and we've come to the next school, which is this one. This is known as the Grange. It's now called the Grange Primary School. So that's still standing after all this time. So uh, let's go and have a look at one that's not there, which is where the camera's pointing up there. So that's the Grange. OK, so I'm still on Cambridge Road now. Now we'll come to one of the biggest schools that used to be in Grimsby. This is uh, Western. Now down there where the camera's pointing now, it used to be the youth club. OK. And I'm going to go past this tree in a minute. Well, this is where the youth club was. I know that because I used to go to this school myself. OK, as you can see, some of the foundations are still down there, look. Some of it, some of the way in. This was a way in, if I remember rightly. And there's some bike sheds around this area as well where that big tree is. But this is totally gone. It really has. I'm going to have a look a bit further around. Right around the other side now. Let's just pop the camera through the fence there. As you can see, all this was the school here. All this. My God, look at how it's all gone. So now is where the staff had come in with the cars. OK, so it's through here. As you can see, there's a wall down there, as you can see that one. And where my bike is, there's a wall there. So they came round here, followed that road round, and the main hall was where the camera's pointing now. If you can see that stack of, I don't know, pallet there with white, it looks like bubble wrap, I'm not sure, but that's where the main hall was. They used to have, uh, uh, um, they used to do shows every year in there. They used to be really spectacular stuff. I remember going to see them. I think I was in the second or uh, third year at the time, but there really is some great shows in this school. It really was a cracking drama department music it had. And it also had a big science block as well. But yeah. OK, so I'm going to show you some that's still in situ with the school. Some of the, well, it's actually the fencing if you want, but look. There you go. All along here. Like I said, behind all there was the main hall. And further up here, well, this fence will end in a moment. Now, just here, was your main entrance. That is going into, the, into there. You can't see it because of the trees here, but there's some bricks down there where that would have knocked them down, look. But this roughly was the main entrance where you walked up, you went through some uh, double doors. There's two double doors, one either side of each other. Obviously, you walked in and you went to the 
to the right and that was your main hall and the other side was like administration blocks, toilets and all that kind of thing. And the first school, ah, here we go. So yeah, look, you see some of it's still there. Oh, okay, let's move on. Enough about this school, let's move on to the next one. Let's go. Now down Broadway, just off to the side of the latest acres there. Now this behind me, I also went here too. This was known as Western Infants back in the day. Okay, so I was here in what, 1970 or 1971. I'll put the camera through the fence. There we go, that's better. Yeah, so here you go. This has changed a lot. So this is an old school, <laughs> judging by my age. But yeah, it's quite a lot of years ago that, since I was here. It's actually 52 years, if you wanted to know. So a lot's changed around here. Obviously it's a nursery now and I think some of the original part of the school is round the other side, so we're going to go down there and have a look, so let's go. On the other side, like I was saying, and you can see over there, yeah, that is the old part. And this extended right out to here, because you can see down there, look, a bit of the metal work. There. And also on that side, down there, this is the original entrance into it. This field used to be big, but now obviously it's gone. They've shortened it. But yeah, there's, you can see in the distance here, that is Western Infants or whatever it's called now. I should have looked at the sign really, but yeah. Okay, so let's move on to the next one. Okay, so I'm on the Broadway still, and now at Lace Baker's School. Now I was one of the first pupils in there. Now as for the year, I can't remember, but it's early 70s. And I can tell you it was in the charts at the time, Bay City Rollers people were going mad for, all the girls was, and Donny Osmond at the time, so that gives you an idea when I was in there. But yeah, it's obviously changed now. I remember that edge over there being put in. And they used to have a, have a sports day over there. Well, this playground's basically the same as it was. But obviously the green uh, fence over there wasn't there. You just should be able to play down there. But, uh, and another thing down here, there was like an honeycomb concrete blocks. Down there looked like a, a, a bee, beehive, you know, them, yeah. But yeah, basically it looked like a beehive, yeah, to be fair. It used to have holes in it. Well, that's where it was. And that over there was the very last classroom I was in, the one with the red doors. Obviously, it's got a fence around it now. I never had that back then, but obviously things have changed. I'll pull the camera out. And up in front of me there, there used to be a subway as well, which is long gone and filled in. So let's go a bit further on. Come down now to where the subway was. Like I say, see this green here, this is still there. I've used to go under the road and come out over there where that pillar box is. Okay, so in there, if I get closer in for you, in there, the red doors is the dining room. Now that's still in the same place. And so is that tower there, the chimney, that's still where it was. And also all this is the administration block, which is down there too. If I move this around, I've probably got trees in the way. But yeah, that's the administration block down there. And you can see the grey building there, above it, that's the hall. We used to do climbing ropes and all sorts of stuff. We used to have discos in there. Anybody remember a, a teacher? We used, to, we used to call him Donny Capka when he was playing the, the music, the discos. It's so funny. But anybody remembers that one? <laughs> That'd be a good one. Please put it in the comments below. But yeah, so this is Lace Bakers. So, uh, OK, let's move on. OK, so I've now come down Central Parade. And this behind me is another school. This is Yabra Road. OK, and it's through there. Let's pop that in there. I was going to film on the other side, but I think there's uh, something going on. But yeah, this is an old part of it. I'm going to have a look a bit further up. Now, they did knock a lot of this down because it's now a doctor's, which is further up that way now. So I'm going to film some of this as we go past. Here's always a tree. <laughs> it's like cherries. But yeah, this school used to be really long. It ends here, up here. Like I was saying now, it's, um, it's now a doctor's. Big, massive doctor's. But this school ended, it ends about here, look. But it didn't used to. It used to carry on way past that doctor's and way up the street there. But this is still the same. It's still the old school. Obviously, things have been updated and that. But yeah, it used to go a lot further than this. Like I say, beyond where that doctor's is. So let's move on to the next school. OK, so we're now down Macaulay Street. OK, this is another school. Let me go past it in a second. Hang on. Here we go, through there. This one's Macaulay Street. I think the old one is in front of us, so we're going to go further up. This is the new part, as you can see through there. I'll go a bit further up. 
past this fence. There we go, better look. There we go, so let's go to the end. Further along now, I'm going to turn the camera around. And this is Macaulay Street. This has been here a long time. This, this part here has, anyway, this is at the end. So yeah, this one's Macaulay Street. OK, so let's move on. OK, so I've now come down Armstrong Street. Now this is what's left of Armstrong Street School. Some of the original fencing is up and it was in this area here. OK, I think it, it's definitely been knocked down because they've replaced it. I've been in there on a few training things um, once upon a time. You can see the back wall there with the abutments holding it up, but it was basically the classrooms is all in this area and where they're playing over there was the playground and that. OK, so we're now walking a little bit further up now and I'll just show you. This is the original, look, these concrete posts here. But would have bordered the school. And these are still here. This is one of the entrances, look. Still there. Like I was saying, in that area there where they've built that, it's obviously a community centre now. A lot of this, well, I think the old school's gone. It think they totally demolished it. But it was all in that area there. I think that wall at the very back is about the only thing that's still there that's original. That white wall in the distance, but yeah. This is an original part of Armstrong Street School. What's left? Just defencing, basically. So, OK, let's move on a little bit further and go on to the next school. So, I've just been down Castle Street and now I'm on Arrow Street. So this used to be where the school was, which is mentioned it's on Castle Street, but obviously they used to stretch across to other streets like the one on Barcroft. This is now called the Phoenix Park Academy. So, yeah, this is where it was, the school. So there you go, that's where that was. And a quick note there that Castle Street is the bravest street in Grimsby from the First World War. So you never know, some of them soldiers might have gone to the school that used to be here a long time ago. So let's move on to the next school. OK, so I'm now on Holyoke Road. OK, and in front of me, and I'll turn the camera around Charlie, is the Avalock Academy. Now well, let's go down this street and have a look at the, this new big academy they built probably a while ago. So let's have a look. So we've come up to the school now, look at this. Massive fields, but yeah, this is where it is. I'm gonna... Okay, so I'm now sitting on Wheelsby Avenue, and behind me there is Wintringham Grammar, what used to be called Wintringham Grammar, should I say? But it still says it on the sign back there as you come off the uh, the main road. As you can see, massive area, massive sports fields there. Looks like to play rugby and football on here, and across there I can see a big sports hall. Yeah, this is the site of Wintringham Grammar. There you go. Let's move on to the next. Also on the same site was the C of E Middle School. And I can't say it, so I'll spell it. L-I-S-L-E Marsden on there. Somewhere in the same area. OK, so there must have been two, there was two schools on there. Obviously, Wintringham I just mentioned and that one. The C of E Middle School. So let's go. I'm now down Sutcliffe Avenue on the Nunsthorpe Estate. And in here, this is another school. This one has a Nunsthorpe school. It's all sorts of things now. I think it's, uh, yeah, Grimsby Institute. I'm going to have a quick roam in. I guess they do this, but it's, uh, it's all right. It's going to have a look. There we go. So, yeah, this is the old Nunsthorpe school. It used to stretch, it stretches down there as well. I don't know how much of it's left, but we'll go and have a look. Basically, another one of them uh, academies. It says it on there, Oasis Academy, Nunsthorpe. But here, but I stop it uh, through there is part of the old school. Okay, obviously, there's all these edges in that, so we go a bit further up. Yeah, it's through there. Look, this is part of the old part. Okay, so it's all through there. That's the old part as I remember it when it used to come down here. Let's pop the camera up higher. There we go. That's better. So you can see it through there, hopefully. There's a train, it carries on down there, but yeah, it's quite, quite a big school, quite a length to it. OK, so let's go on to the next gift, and the little coach primary somewhere through there. I'm not going to go round there, but that's where they are. Oh, there it is. Yeah. If I stop here, little coach primary over that one there. Sort of brown building, and I'm guessing that's the other one, the Wick gift one. So this is where they are now. Obviously moved from where they originally was, so let's go to another school now. The little coach primary, I'll just come and show you in a minute. I'll just turn the camera around shortly. Coming up to it. Turn it. Go down this street here, I think. Yeah, there we go, it's in there. So this one 
is Little Coats Primary. It's a new part at the front, but I'm going to the back where the old part is. As you can see, this has been added on to. So we're going to go down here. That's this brick wall. And there it is. Let's get here a minute. There we go. So this is the back part of it. This is the old part. Okay, as you can see, through there. Little cuts primary, but this is the old part. So I've got the chimneys on lot on here, why the fire's in there. Wow. I hope you can see that up there, but that's just a girl's entrance. We're still at the uh, little coach prime, but yeah. I don't know if you can see, well, it definitely says it. Bit hard to make out, but it's there. Okay, let's carry on then. Okay, we'll come round the other side, and as you can see there, the boys' entrance. There you go. So that's where they went in. So, okay, brilliant. Found them both. Let's carry on. On uh, Town Hall Square now, roughly, and this school here is a girls' school built in 1863 and there's another one in front of us which we're going to have a look at in a minute so let's move to that one okay so we're now stood outside the boys school okay this one here there's a plaque on there this is 1867 on it and also up there as well so yeah so this is the boys side of it i'll show you the plaque i'll go backwards there we go on there Okay, so let's move on to the next school. So we're now at South Parade, or as it's called now, South Parade Academy. So here we are. This has been here a long time too. I will put the dates on if I can find them over the video, but yeah, this is South Parade. Really, another old school. I can't see any of the entrances, because probably around the other side, and I've just been around there, and I couldn't see much. So, but yeah, this is South Parade School. So let's move on to the next one. Okay, so I'm now stood on Highgate, okay, in Cleethorpes. And as you can see, they've kept the sign up there. This is now an housing estate. This is 1932 on it. I have done a close-up, which I will show you. And over the road there, through that uh, fencing, if you like, it says girls on it. So I'm going to go up closer to that and have a look. I've come up to under the sign now, and as you can see there, the two posts side are the originals. And what they've done is there's a boys' sign there. They've set it into the... Uh, into the walls itself but as you can see this was a ma massive skull i'll go up a bit further but i'm going to show you the the two signs that they put in the walls it's really i've come to the edge of the school now where it was as you can see it carries on quite well the well way down there or it used to but like i said it's now and uh and I was in the state, obviously, but it was a big school. So like I say, some of the original features are there, which I've just uh, shown you. So, okay, let's move on. Hey, okay, so we've come to the end of a video, another video. That was a look around the schools around Cleeforts and Grimsby. Yeah, you enjoyed that one. And I'd like to thank all my new members to the channel. Welcome. And I'd like to thank all those for watching my content. I really appreciate it. So on that note, I will see you next time on the next video. Bye for now.